Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Econ K88, and today I'm in downtown Toledo. And what you see ahead there is called the Pythian Castle. It's a historic building here in downtown that has made the news recently. I believe the prior owners just more or less neglected the property. And the city's or county, I'm not sure if it's run by the city or the county, but it's called the Land Bank. Now owns the property, and the folks in charge of the land bank were wondering what they should do with the building. And in most cities, this probably already would have been converted into lofts and apartments. And we've done plenty of that here in Toledo already. Some of it, some have been successful, some have not been. The Knights of Pythians, I believe, is an organization that was similar but much smaller than the Freemasons once upon a time. Freemasons, Knights of Columbus, more or less like a, like a private club. You can see the sign there built in 1890. I'm not sure what this hygienic dress league is about, but what do you think should be done with this building? Should it see the wrecking ball? Should it be restored? Should the city and or county have anything to do with owning it? How much would you pay for it? A lot of the questions that are being asked here recently. Next door here is another historic building. We'll get a look at that. I'm on the corner of North Ontario and Jefferson. This used to be Caesar's uh, show bar. It's been closed for many years. Here's another look at the Pythian Castle from the side. Really a cool building. Another look at the old Caesars building. It's much larger from the side view than the front. Actually it looks like there's a hole in the roof, yeah. Yeah, that window up there looks like the sun shining right through. So it really is a shame if this building is too far gone to uh, remodel. Not really the best part of downtown. Certainly not the worst, but it's right next to the Greyhound bus station, which my foreign viewers might not know this, but uh, Greyhound stations in America are not really desirable places to be. That's the Greyhound parking lot that you see there in the terminals. They actually painted their colors on part of the Pythian Castle here. Really would be cool to get inside, but I'm not going to do that because first of all I don't know how to get in and secondly I probably would get arrested or fall through the floorboard who knows but if they can at least uh, repair the roof the building probably can be saved and yeah, push the door it's sealed as I expected it to be Somebody's been in there because some of the windows are knocked out. And downtown Toledo today is as dead as it always is on Sundays. This 
was built at the at the onset of Toledo's industrial might, America's industrial might. Still, I have no idea what this uh, is really about. Just pointing out the equipment that those folks are wearing. So I don't know how long it's been since this building was occupied. Anyway, it is a beautiful building and hopefully a private investor comes along and with money and can restore the building, get some positive use out of it. This part of downtown definitely could use a jolt. Some of the other buildings here in downtown. That used to be the recruiting station straight ahead there when I was a kid. It's been long gone. So that's it for this one. Let me know what you think. This is Econ Kate 88 signing off from downtown Toledo. Ground zero of the American economic collapse. Political boondoggle. Let me know what you would do with the Pythian Castle. Please subscribe, please comment. Thanks for watching.